Kind of look like it, it either the tire came off or it lost the ball joint one or the other kind of hard to say but it happened right at the uh turn from huntington to pocket hill right, right around rush hour good evening man Take me off on a uh, 19 fixed post, uh, Like I said, it's kind of hard to tell if it lost its. Looks like the lug nuts are on it, so maybe it lost the ball joint. Or. Uh, kind of hard to tell from here, though. It looks like. Yeah. Like with Angle 5 Possibly you lost the lug nuts. We're out looking at it real close. A driver said he was being harassed by another driver. Of a traffic stop, five kilo gold, uh, two five six, one in the car. Maybe possible. I don't Brown see any. Um, I don't see any lug nuts on the ground, so it's kind of hard to tell. It's gonna be possible that the car was driving. And the lug nuts could have came off. I've seen it happen before. Uh, trying to find it with all that traffic running back and forth would be difficult too. Take a quick look at it and see. Yeah, it looks like she lost the lug nuts. What happened? The, the lug nuts came off? No. Did you find them or just one? Just, uh, so she needs a total of, it's kind of hard to say. Mm. Take a quick peek over here, see what I see. Yeah, if you lost them in the street, it's gonna be tough to find. It, may, it, it could be one right here, though. It looks like there could be one over here. Take a quick peek and see what that is. Looks like a lug nut in the middle of the street right here. And without getting hit. And found a lug nut right here. And. There's probably two more out there somewhere. I see if I can find the other two. Um, um, Warren, uh, I don't know if you have a name. We were up there on the day tour probably uh, five days ago. Very hostile. It's kind of hard to see what's on those tracks with the trains going by. They look like there's something else on those tracks over there without getting hit. I see if I can take a walk over there. Let uh, these cars make their pass for us. This look like a lug nut, but I can't tell without getting too close to it. No, that's not a lug nut. Uh, see, you really can't see on these tracks that well. Too late, thank you. Alright, that male's gonna be a one for Weez. Hispanic male, about 5 foot 5, white t shirt, blue pants. Uh, like I said, it's kind of hard to see in the dark. You really can't see in the pit of those tracks unless you're right on top of it. So it's fair to say if she did lose them, she lost them on this little stretch right here.
Let that car go by. Take a quick peek in the street again. I always gotta watch out for the vehicles. But these these vehicles won't start for you, so just gotta anticipate that they won't start. Um. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the same one. Okay. Now, if there's any other ones over there, it's going to be very tough very to see thing. them. Without getting yourself hit by a car. Uh, so, theoretically, she could... She could actually drive the car with two lug nuts, but you got to be real careful because she should have at least three of them. I said it's gonna be very hard to find the last, the last two. Uh, you, if you got four lug nuts, you should have at least three. I don't recommend trying to drive a car with just two lug nuts. That wouldn't be safe at all. You could do away with three, but two is very, very risky. Uh, the other ones are going to be hard to find without getting hit by a car. could take a lug nut off the other one and swap it over to that one so then she could balance it out too more likely she's going to have to replace her studs on the um, car itself How far do you have to travel? You got to travel a far distance? Uh, I live in the Honda uh, 70 Park as well. Okay, I was going to say, you, if you get but, the tire on... But you can go, but we don't find the thing. So I already called you for it. But oh. I'm still trying to find the... Uh, the lug nuts? <laughs> and nobody wants to drive. That's crazy. Everybody's in a rush to go nowhere. You got plenty of space over there. You just, you just don't know how to drive. Bravo K1 101. Okay. Oh, that's Operation unbelievable. People don't use even exercise caution. Like she knows other cars are gonna to try to get up yes, there. She just stolen car recover. Um, sorry, recover stolen car seven fifty high park Thank you. So she called. She said she called AAA. So more likely AAA would tow it to a garage or something where she could put the. Um, well, usually when your when your lug nuts fall off, chances are you want to replace the the um, studs anyway, because something's telling you either the lug nuts are stripped or the the studs are stripped or both. Yep, Like you could get it on just to get it up the hill and park it, and then after that get it fixed right away. Because if they backed off once, chances are they're gonna back off again. I give it uh, another quick look. See if I see those um, 
see those. Like I said, trying to see it in, in, in the dock over here is not going to be that easy. Then the other part is actually seeing it and getting it without getting hit by a car. But these cars will not stop for you, just so you guys know. They definitely will not stop for you. I'm willing to bet that the lug nuts are in in the groove of those tracks, but in order for you to really look down there, you got to kind of walk the length of the track looking down. But that's not going to be safe, knowing a car could be potentially coming at you. Single five five contact with I have it. Uh, one oh one I have it. See since she called AAA, so AAA usually has a thirty to thirty minutes to an hour response depending on where they're coming from and what they're doing. So they could be there for a long time. So um, I'm going to cut this off. If uh, anything else comes up, I'll get back to you guys. But right now you have a car that lost all four lug nuts in the middle of uh, Pocket Hill and Huntington.